Hello Wanderers fans and welcome to another episode of Bay 46. I'm Sia Anthopoulos and I'm here at the Emporium in Parramatta. I'm just about to have a coffee catch up with Andrew Redmayne so we can get to know him a little better ahead of our game against Wellington this Saturday. Can I call you Redis? Absolutely. Awesome, thanks Redis. Now, what a win on the weekends. Uh, we've got three wins in a row. We've been playing better and better every game. What was your take? Yeah, I mean, every win's a great win, I think, uh, in such a tight, uh, congested league, uh, where every game's a battle. I think every game's a, every win we get is a fantastic win. And um, having said that, I think on the weekend, away in Melbourne, Amy Park, um, Melbourne City coming off another fantastic win against Adelaide. I thought we, we really stuck it to them and I thought we dominated the majority of the game, if not all of it. So, uh, you know, it was really pleasing to see, see us really clicking through the gears and, uh, and getting up to our, our potential. Well, congrats on a clean sheet. How did it feel getting that result against your old club? Yeah, it was pretty nice. Uh, but having said that, I mean, I've, I've moved on a lot since uh, Melbourne City and, uh, you know, it is my former club, but there isn't many ties there. So. It was just another game for me and uh, like you said, it was fantastic to get a clean sheet and but more importantly, the three points. Well, I actually saw a photo on the team bus after the game. What was the vibe like? Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty pleasing. I mean, uh, we put in a lot of hard work and, and to reward ourselves and probably more importantly, the fans with uh, three points like that, it's, uh, it's really pleasing. Now, you've been in Western Sydney for a little while now after being in Melbourne. Um, what, how, how are you settling in and are you enjoying the place? Yeah, I, I couldn't have settled in any better, I don't think. Uh, I'm loving the team, loving the environment and uh, you know, loving the place in general. And It's just such a pleasure to be uh, welcomed so openly to a new club and yeah, I couldn't be happier. Now, um, what attracted you to the Wanderers in the first place? Um, it's, I think it's the biggest club in the A-League um, in Australia. Uh, the, the amount of success that they've instilled, um, achieved in, in the first few years that they've been around is, is massive. And, and for that, I think uh, they are the biggest team in Australia. And that's probably one of the biggest things that drove me to the club. But also the drive and direction and, and the, the philosophies that are uh, installed in the Wanderers is something that's massive that, that helped me come here as well. I mean, um, I, I, on paper, you look at the, the playing roster to the coaching staff from every level, from head coach, assistant coaches, um, youth league coaches, W league coaches, everyone has the highest of pedigree and, and I just really wanted to immerse myself in that and, and just learn and, and grow as a player. Well, we really believe in your Redders and thanks for giving your all for the club. Now onto training, what's it like training under Kalach? Yeah, Kalach, he's a, he's a tough taskmaster, but uh, you know, having said that, I'm, I feel I'm one to thrive under hard work and, and I've really been enjoying uh, getting pushed every single session. Um, he's a perfectionist, um, which I can kind of say on myself, so uh, nothing, nothing gets, uh, well, no stone gets unturned, so it's, it's been really good working on, under someone like that and I just can feel myself going from strength to strength. So moving on to our game against Wellington on Saturday night, they've just come off a win and we've come off three wins. What can we expect from the Wanderers this week? Um, you know, they, they're in good form as well. Like, uh, they're always a tough team. They're always very physical. And I think this year they've got a lot of uh, mobility up front. So we can expect a hard physical game. And um, yeah, they, they think they've uh, got it clicking up front. But having said that, I think our defence has been absolutely rock solid this year. So. We're looking forward to keeping, or having, getting another test from uh, Wellington this week and um, yeah, I'm sure we'll come away with a good result. Well, our whole style has changed and we seem to be getting better and better. Do you think we can go the whole way this year? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's still a long way away and you don't want to put limits on anything you do, but having said that, I, you can really see the progression of the team um, from day one of pre-season, halfway through pre-season, round one and now uh, six rounds in, I think. Uh, every week is a stepping block and, and we're improving every week and that's something that, that, that good teams need to do and, and we will strive to get even better. Well, let's get four wins in a row then. Absolutely. Well thanks for joining me Andrew and uh, we'll catch up soon. Absolutely, thank you.
fans, get down to Perth Tech Stadium this Saturday for a 5.15pm kickoff. Let's get four in a row. I'll see you there.